Okay, time for another video. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a video I wanted to do for a while. And the topic is tinted visors on a motorbike helmet. These things here. Oh my god, that woman's eating a pizza bread while driving. Nice. Lovely. It would be cool to hear other thoughts on this as well. Panigale. And yeah, what I want to talk about is why are they not road legal? Now I'm talking about the 100% tinted visors. These things here. Now I ride with... I have two tinted visors. A full black and a full iridium blue, which I'm wearing now. And I use tinted visors more than I use a clear visor. And in my personal opinion, I think they're safer. I don't think they should be classed as not road legal. Okay, so yeah, why are they classed as not road legal? I mean, they use them for track use only. And not road use. And when on a track, it's only advised for daytime only. But that's pretty obvious. I mean, if someone is stupid enough to wear a fully black tinted visor at night or in the rain or in poor weather conditions, then yeah, they deserve a fine and three points or whatever it is. Because that's just stupid. But for daytime use on the road, I don't see there's a problem. And you know, especially if you carry a clear visor with you. Just in case, you know, the weather changes which in the UK happens a lot. So why do I think tinted visors are safer? Well, obviously, sunlight. In the summer days, you know, when the sun is like beaming in your face, it can put you off. And then you can cause a distraction and really get in your eyes and block your visibility. Especially in the evenings and summer days when the sun is low, like almost on the horizon, like in this clip here. With a clear visor, you just get completely blinded and you can't see the road. But then you get people saying, oh, why don't you just wear sunglasses? Or get a helmet with a integrated sun visor. And I've tried those. Wearing sunglasses in a motorbike helmet can be very awkward and uncomfortable. Especially if the helmet hasn't got the little, they've got some slots in the side so they glasses can fit in smoothly and be more comfortable but even with those it pushes against your face too much it can be awkward and comfortable and personally for me just no then there's the integrated sun visors now i've got a helmet with this in a hjc helmet and i mean the helmet itself is great but the integrated sun visor the flip down visor not so good when it's down, the line at the bottom of the visor is pretty much in the center of your vision or just lower, it's going to be in your peripheral vision. And it can be sometimes distracting because it's just in the way. There's, you always see that line across here. So, yeah, I don't like that as an option. And then there's the fiddling on top of the head, pulling it up and down. No. But I'm making this video really to try and get views of other people because I'm not really sure on the law, the exact law. Because in the UK, I mean on the official law website, the state's visors just have to meet the requirements which is the CE certification on the visor, which the tinted visors don't have. So I guess, yeah, it is not road legal. And when you try buying a visor, from a motorbike shop, they tell you it's not road legal, and when you buy them online, it clearly states not road legal. But saying that, if they are not legal, and I fear they can be punishable by three points and a fine, then why the f do police bikes wear them? Yeah, there's been a few instances where I've seen police bikes we're in tent visors.
so I'm not really too sure on this. I guess what it comes down to, I mean, it's a very fine subject. I guess if you're wearing it sensible on a nice sunny day and carrying a clear visor with you, then I don't see it's a problem. But if you are stupid enough to wear it at night or in the rain, poor weather conditions, then yeah, you're a bit of a tit. So it would be cool to hear some thoughts on this. I think I've covered everything I need to talk about, about tinted visors. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you. Likes.